In an inner Sydney suburb on a Saturday morning, another footy dad helps his kids prepare for a game. But this dad also happens to be a try scoring machine for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Nathan Merritt could be starting a dynasty at Redfern if the performances of seven-year-old Jade and her twin brother Jalen are anything to go by. They're good little players, you know, my, my girl's starting to get a bit of confidence in herself now, so she's starting to get the hang of football, you know, my son's pretty, you know, naturally gifted, you know, he's got, he's only a short fella, but, you know, he's got a lot of heart. The kids of Alexandria Park Community School might say the same about Jalen's dad. The 28-year-old works as a teacher's aide at the same school he once attended. I've been doing it for about a year or two, you know. Um, it's, it's enjoyable, you know, you get, get to see the young kids, you know. Uh, they put a smile on their face sometimes when you're feeling sad and down after a loss. He was a shy kid, <laughs> yeah, and he, he never talked very much, but he was always very, very um, sporty and always played sports all the time. Nathan wasn't the only one. Also in his class was Parramatta forward Shane Shackleton. So surrounded by league-loving family and friends, it's no wonder the shy little boy harboured a dream to play for his beloved Rabbitohs. Me and my cousins, we just uh, walk across the Moor Park and watch the Rabbitohs. They weren't travelling too well back then. You know, they were always, always on the bottom of the ladder. As a frontman for the South Cares Community Program, Merritt has a big presence in the community where he grew up. Just a great way for me, for me to get back to, this, to the young kids, you know, and show them young kids that there's a pathway and there's a light. That path has led the proud Aboriginal to line up twice for the Indigenous All-Stars. Apart from making my debut with South, it's probably up there with a, probably the, one of the greatest games that I've played in. It was, it was emotional being up there, and especially doing the, the war cry dance at the start. You get a lot of goosebumps and stuff like that. You feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, so it's a great way to start the season. And no matter how the season progresses, his popularity at the local footy ground or in the classroom will be just as strong. Someone told me that uh, when some of the other players come down here and come into a classroom, the kids will actually say, oh, where's Nathan? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank the kids for that, yeah. <laughs> nah. NRL on Fox, live and only on Fox Sports.